Hey, hey, Tony guys is here. Hey, listen to me. I want to talk to you about this because one of the things that's happening in our society, which I'm seeing happen a lot, and it is just, <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. It, and that is the level of entitlement with singles today who are dating. Listen to me. And I hate to tell you this. I hate to tell you this, but I want you to listen to me and hear me on this. Because if you can't hear me, somebody who's trying to help you with no strings attached, you definitely ain't going to be able to hear somebody who got strings attached. You ain't going to be able to do it. You ain't going to be able to do it. And so I need you to understand You stink. Yeah. Your, your stuff stink. It stink. And every day of the week, I want you to understand that your stuff stink. Like your boo boo, your braille, stuff stink. You know what I mean by that? We human. What I mean by that is somebody got to put up with you too. Your mom ain't raised you all the way right. Your dad ain't raised you all the way right. Or your grandma, or your auntie. Like, you going into this relationship and you is annoying. You annoying. Don't nobody want to hear all that, all your likes and dislikes and all that right there. You annoying. I want you to understand that. And we don't realize that by ourselves. We don't realize that we annoying. We don't realize that we got ailments and issues and ignorances and that we're annoying. And so we got this whole list going into a relationship, not realizing the list terrible. The list terrible because we get so amped up that sometimes I have to come on here and do a demotivational speech to humble you, to bring you back down because you get online and online of how you thinking your stuff don't stay. Online of how you thinking that your list is justifiable. And that ain't how this thing work. That ain't how this thing work. We got to understand that every single, listen, you need to be looking for the bare minimum. What I mean by the bare minimum is that that is a haughty, demonic spirit that's telling you, if people out there talking about, I'm not finna settle for the bare minimum. I ain't finna settle for the... You is the bare minimum. What you thought you was? What you thought you was? What you thought you were, creme de la creme? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Come on now. Listen, see, this is how you have to understand that that's why the Bible tells you to be lowly at heart, to be humble. Yeah, be confident, but you got to be humble. Like, listen, listen, I got a big head, okay? My breath be stinking. A lot of times, breath be stinking. I could taste my breath. And listen, thing ain't all that. Meat game ain't all of that. Barely decent. And then, listen, five, nine and a half, five, ten on a good day. That's, I had to be real with myself. I had to be real with myself. Yeah. I make over a million dollars a year. Okay, that's good money. But guess what? I ain't got nothing to show for it. Because life costs. 
Life costs. I ain't got nothing to show for it. I be around right here shaking like a scripper. See, I had to get real with myself. And that's why I need you to get real with yourself. And I need you to understand. See, what, what I mean by the bare minimum, I don't mean by you with a bomb. You with a nobody. That ain't what I mean by the bare minimum. What I mean by the bare minimum is the bare minimum that you need is somebody who love the Lord. That's it. Do you love the Lord? Do you walk with the Lord? If the answer is yes, okay, we can work with it. If the answer is yes, we can work with it. If the answer is no, we got an issue. We got an issue. See, think about this. Somebody who know the Lord and walk with the Lord. What that's going to tell you. They walk with the Lord. What that's going to tell you. They want to do it God's way. They don't, they, they don't want to be in fornication. They don't want to lie. They don't want to deceive. They don't want to manipulate. They don't want to control. They don't want to abuse. You hear what I'm telling you? They want to do things the right way. They want to th do things decent and in order. They confident because of the knowledge of the Lord. But they humble because of the knowledge of the Lord. They loving. They're giving. They're forgiving. They're patient. Temperate. Mindful. Careful compassionate servant's heart all because they know the Lord. That's the bare minimum. And see how you see how much the bare minimum sound? But see, that's the bare minimum that y'all don't want. What y'all want is a 800 credit score is your bare minimum. 700 credit score is your bare minimum. A certain height is your bare minimum. A certain weight is your bare minimal. Likes and dislikes. Oh, gotta like this kind of music. Gotta like doing this. Gotta like the travel. Gotta like this. That's your bare minimum. They ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Ain't none of that got nothing to do with nothing. The question need to be, can I trust this person? Can I trust this person? If you could trust them because of their character and their integrity, you got a relationship. You got a marriage that'll last a lifetime. Listen to me. You ugly. I want you to understand that. You know why you ugly? Because we all ugly. You got it. We look good in the sight of the Lord. We look good in the sight of the Lord. Listen. You see the hill line right there? The only reason why this line ain't super crazy right now because I've been fasting. So I done lost some meat on my forehead. Do you see all this right here? From here down is hair fiber. That's all fake hair. That ain't no real hair. That's hair fiber spray. If I take this, if I take and wet my hand and wipe like this, I'll look like Fred Sanford and son. Fred Sanford. Listen. We got to understand, listen, you see how I got these ears? And listen, I ain't no ugly man, but listen, see how these ears stick out like a doleman pincher? Ugly. See, this one trying to this is what I'm trying to tell you. It ain't about beating yourself up and not loving yourself. It's about being real with yourself. You see the hill? Bottom T, I done had braces. T still trying to get crooked. Still, still trying to crook back on me. If your teeth ain't perfect, they're ugly. How you gonna get them perfect? Braces, veneers. Guess what I just heard about veneers? Veneer breath. Veneer breath. Imagine going to spend $50,000 to get your teeth done and your breath stink. Listen, you got to knock yourself down off of them notches. 
You got to get off that high horse and you got to stop being so picky. You single because you being too picky. You being too picky. Can I trust this person? Oh, well, Tony, that's easy for you. Your wife beautiful, listen. Everybody is beautiful when you got money. We got money. You know, you know right now, the hair in my wife's head costs a thousand dollars. And the hair do cost five hundred or seven fifty. Yeah, she finna look good. Do you know her facials cost four hundred dollars? Do you know what Botox and filler is? <laughs> Botox and filler. Do you know how much that costs? Eight hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Do you know what lashes is? The lash when you go to the technician and they put one in at a time. Listen, this is what I try to tell people. People always try to tell me, oh, well, you a hypocrite. Then, Your wife beautiful. Listen, my wife have a natural base just like you have. She ain't no more beautiful than you. But you know what she got? She got a two or three hundred dollar set of lashes in. She not listening to these people talking about Botox and filler ain't good for you. No, she going to get what she want to get, how she want to get it. Listen, she going to go do her cosmetic stuff. Her and her friends, they, done, they cosmetic. They just do it with a natural look to it. They don't do, my wife ain't went and got no BBL. That don't mean she ain't went and done nothing cosmetic. So a lot of times people think like, Oh, well, you did. Oh, well, Tony, you ain't on a track to listen. I had braces. I had to go get braces. I had to go get braces. I used to arch my eyebrows. You see how thick my eyebrow is? My, my eyebrow used to be like this. I used to be in a soft guy era and didn't even know it. Look, the sweet woman told me, I thought you were gay. I'm like, what? I read it a bike hand and go to jail, but it's because my eyebrows was arched. Why was my eyebrows arched? Because my roommate is a guy from New York, black guy, but grew up around all Spanish guys in New York. Spanish guys arch their eyebrows. Spanish guys try to look too pretty in New York. So he, I let him give me a haircut. He told me he cut hair. He cut off all of this out my eyebrow. So then I had to keep doing it because when it grow back, it started to look like a porcupine. So I kept doing it, went home, went to the eyebrow place where they take a little bit of hair. The lady supposed to be taking off my excess hair. She started taking off real mane, real whole hair. So I had this much of eyebrow and then that little, that little swipe, that's all I had. I looked like I was getting the booty toe out the lining. I ain't even realize it though till now I look back. I'm like, man, what you doing bad? My wife met me. I wear a size nine and a half shoe. You know what size shoes I was wearing when my wife wet, met me? Size 11. Them shoes was flapping. My shoe was, every time I step, my shoe was clapping. Every time I step. I used to wear Dickies shorts. You know Dickies shorts? Long shorts with a G-unit tank top. You know the tank top 50 Cent used to wear with the little scrap, with the thick little scrap right there? And it come down with a G-unit tank top with a cowboy belt. With the big buckle like this. With a cowboy belt. And Reebok classes. And New Balance, that was too big. Brown dicky shorts. Black. Brown and black don't even go together. Black tank top. With brown and peanut butter brown Reebok classes. With a cowboy belt. With arch eyebrows. With shaved legs, nah. 
We shave legs. You know why I shave my legs? Because all the athletes, you shave their legs. All the athletes were shaving their legs. So we, I'm shaving my leg, not realizing. Looking sweet. Looking like a, a, a bag of sugar. And didn't even realize it. That's what my wife married. I want you to picture that. That's what my wife married. So people look, oh, are you trying to tell me to settle the regas because they settle? I ain't even had no phone. I had to get on my wife phone plan. My car got stole. My wife went and got a $5,000 loan from her stepdaddy that wasn't even her stepdaddy no more. Went with a hand out begging to this grown man to help her get a $5,000 loan. She took that $5,000 and went and bought me a Lexus LS400 for $3,500 cash. And she kept the other $1,500. My wife carried me. But y'all sitting up here single as a dollar bill because you, you waiting on somebody to fall from the heavens. And you living in sin. Ain't nothing falling from no heavens with that sin in your life. You got to wake up and smell the folders in the morning. Your stuff stink, okay? The person you get with stuff going to stink. A lot of y'all don't understand what a real relationship is. Did you know a real relationship is laying in the bed and getting farted on? Do you realize that? I'm farting on my wife and she burping on me. That is a relationship. Do you understand this? A real, do you know what a relationship is? The man can't get it up when the woman wants some, and the woman can't get it wet when the man wants some. That's what a relationship is. Y'all sitting out here single, waiting on a fantasy, waiting on a dream. You waiting on something that ain't real. We are human beings with stink bro. I could taste my bro right now. It's like, get it together. This is what I want you to do. The next time you want to get picky, I want you to take that finger. And if you're a woman, I want you to take that finger and I want you to take it down there. And I want you to get you a nice white I want you to get your knife wipe and I want you to do it like that. You, you. Oh, my goodness. When you take them drawers off, I want you to look at them drawers. Look at that right there in them drawers. That's human life. That is life. So why is you being picky by in a relationship, if you're a man, take the hand, get your swipe. <sighs> Why are you picky? When you when you when you sit down and you make that list about what you're looking for, do like this. <sighs> Breathe in your hand and let that breath come back and go up your nose. And then you tell me, why is you picky? Oh, well, I want somebody. They don't want you. Because you're trying to pick somebody who's going to make you feel special. Somebody who's going to make you feel good. Somebody finna have you feel like you in the lap of luxury. That's what you want. But what you think they want? So you done wrote your list. But guess what? You're not on their list. Because the reason why you're not on their list is because that's the human problem. Everybody wants something that they not. We all want something that we not. We want something better than us. So that's, so that's why you want who don't want you. And who you want, want somebody that don't want them. So it's like right here. I meet a guy who want me to do matchmaking for him. 
He described this woman. He want this woman. Guess what? He want this woman because he a million now, but that woman don't want him. That woman, that woman want a million now who look good to her. He don't look good to her. So she don't want him. So here she is. So then the man who look good to her, who is who look perfect and he a million now, he don't want her. Cause he want three of them. He want three of hers. And the thing about her that look had decent, he want everything perfect. But that perfect don't look. And then when he find perfect, she broke. So now he not finna be with no woman who look perfect but broke. So it's not the woman who look perfect and broke. She got to put up with him having two or three other women because she look perfect but she broke. And then the woman who got money don't look perfect. So now this, this starts this vicious circle of vanity. Everybody wanting something that don't want them. Point blank pure odd. So listen, I'm shorter than my wife ex, exes and the guy she kind of sort of dated in high school. I'm shorter than them. But you know what? I look better than they do. Everybody ain't got it all. They taller than me, but they don't look good as me. Then I look better than them, but I'm shorter than them. Guess what? My wife look better than my exes, but she ain't got their body. My exes got a body, but they ain't got her face. Nobody have it all. We living in a single BAP backwards society because everybody being greedy. And everybody, oh, well, this is what I want. And then when I tell y'all, oh, well, you want that, but that don't want you. Well, I'm working on the 3B. By the time you get done with the 3Bs, who you say you want already going to be in a relationship. So why don't you get with who you on the level of? And this is what you got to understand. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I don't care how you feel about yourself. No one cutting the comments. <laughs> oh, hush. I don't care how you feel about yourself. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You don't get to determine and dictate whether you look good or not. Who looking at you get to decide whether you look good or not. A lady come on here one day telling me, I don't look good. She telling me, uh, such, such look good. Then another lady say, such, such do not look good. And so I'm like, that right there just proved to me beauty in the eye of the beholder. Because you think Cherie Gaskins will be with me and she ain't think I look good? Yeah. You know, you know, you know what happened with Cherie Gaskins? If she thought I look so good that she okayed me losing my phone and not being in a financial position to get another one and put me on her phone plan. She okay me driving her car. She okay me living on her lease. She okay, you know why? Meat game, face card, talk game was on a level that she had never experienced. So she compromised in me being a buster, TLC, no scrubs, because of how she thought I looked. And I didn't, I didn't know it because she never told me. But I remember Risa would be in her room and she would just be staring at me. Every time we looking at TV, every time I look over, she's staring at me nonstop. Like she thought I was the most beautiful man she ever met in life. She would just be staring at me. And I'd be like, why? why? I used to always wonder, like, why she stare so much? I'm like, this child got a staring problem. I said, I'm like, she act like one of the kids. 
on the spectrum. Like, that's what I'm saying in my head. Like, she had, like she look off a little bit. Like, why she be staring at me so hard? But then, when I seen her ex, I said, oh, she humble. She humble. Because that boy look regular than a mug. And then when I saw another guy she kind of dated in her, I'm like, my goodness. Boy, look like he got stepped on. He look like a stepchild in the literal, like somebody step. I said, oh, okay, she humble. Okay, okay, all right. And then I start to realize, I'm like, okay, okay. Because she, she went to a hood school. So, you know, the, the pickings of the little wasn't all that good. And so, I, and so it's starting to make sense to me. So I said, okay, okay. But listen, that, ain't, that don't mean I look good. It just mean I look better than what she was used to. You see what I'm saying? And so for me, she looked good. She didn't look better than what I was used to. But she looked it better than some of the girls I had just recently dated. But I could get another girl that looked as pretty as her. But you know what she had? They ain't have. She had articulation and intelligence and maturity. See, the other girls was real petty, like the debate, or they was slow. She a biomedical science major with a master's in medical sciences. Read 600 words a minute back then. Probably read 800 words a minute now. Read 50 books a month. That was different for me. And so here I am, a bomb, TLC, no scrubs. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm going to get to marry a doctor. She want to be a doctor. I'm going to live good because, man, listen, I come from nothing. I come from no money. I'm going to be with a doctor. And I, what I'm going to do, hey, got that meat game perfected. I'm going to just... Ugh, I'm finna, ugh, I'm finna, ah, ah, ah. that's what I'm telling myself, I'm finna be <laughs> peach cob, eat peach cobbler, everything, just, woo, splack of valley, you hear me, that's what I'm telling myself, I'm like, man, I got to do my thing now, cause I ain't got no money, I ain't got no ambition, I ain't got no job, I ain't finna be worth nothing, but she finna be a doctor? I say, boy, I'm finna be licking her from head to toe. This is what I'm telling myself. And this is how relationships happen. This is how they happen. But now we come into a day and time where everybody used to know that. Everybody used to know that. That man ugly, but he got a dangling on him. So that's how he got that woman. Everybody used to know that. That woman ugly, but she got a booty on her. So that's how she got him. That woman ugly, but that woman could cook. You hear me? You feel like you sitting at the last supper with Jesus Christ when that woman cook. And so everybody knew that. That man ugly, but he got a high paying job with a pension and benefits. So that's how he got that good looking brown skinned woman. Everybody knew that. And that's why we was marrying like this. Today, y'all is walking around here looking like this here case. And you got a list that's this here long in six font. Talking about that's what you want. And that is why you single. And that's why you're going to stay single until you get real about that list. And you come up half of that list and you look yourself in the mirror and you realize your stuff stank and you is no better than the next human and the, and the person you looking down your nose at you ain't no better than them so once you realize that that when your life gonna change you know what it's the holiday today i'm finna i see this right here i'm finna make my reservation and take my family out to eat hey god bless y'all Please forgive me. I'm, I'm just getting frustrated with society. You know, get out your feelings. Unsubscribe if you're soft. Can't handle the truth. But you better be glad somebody out here trying to tell the truth instead of blowing up your ego and selling you to these dreams. 
that y'all getting sold out here. Man. You better wake up and smell the folders in the morning because where you think you got a dream, you're going to end up in a nightmare when you pick somebody off your list and then they're going upside your head because you chose for the wrong reason. God bless you. We'll talk soon.